Hello everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to make a crawl, sprint, and crouch in Roblox Studio. So, let's get started. So, I'm in this test place where we can test crawl, crouch, and sprinting, which I made in a few minutes. But uh, without wasting any more time, let's get into making it. What you're going to want to do is you want to go to your starter player in the explorer and go to starter character script and add a brand new local script. Now we're going to quickly make some variables. I will explain them in a bit. Local player equals game dot players dot local player. Local character equals player dot character. The most important of all, local UIS, which is game get service user input service. And the user input service is responsible for having handling any input. So if I press space, this will tell me that I've pressed space. So now let's get started with the sprint since it is the easiest to make. I'm going to do UIS.input began and UIS.input UIS ended. Have both of the connect. And we're going to say input and is typing. Now what is input is going to give an input object says properties oops and it's gonna have these properties but we're gonna want this key code right here and this key code is going to tell us what it is so we're gonna I forgot to say function here put function and then we're just gonna start with this print so if if not typing, so if we're not typing, then we can go ahead with the movement. So we're going to say if input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code dot left shift. So this represents our left shift button on our keyboard, the one we only used for sprint. We want to then get our character humanoid and we're gonna set this walk speed to 22. The default walk speed is 16, but we're gonna set it to 22 because I'm feeling a bit speedy today. Now, in the US, the input ended. We're just actually can just copy this entire thing, and paste it here. We're just gonna instead of setting that we're gonna set it back to 16 and that is our sprint done so as I can show you if we're here and we're walking normally and if we press shift we walk a bit faster like we're sprinting Anyways, that's sprint. Let's get started with crawling and crouching. So before we get into crawling and crouching, we're going to need to make animations. Now, I won't go into detail on how to make fully blown animations. We're just going to make simple ones that you guys can follow along, even if you don't know how to make animations. If you'd like to see a tutorial on animations, just uh, leave it in the comment section and I'll be happy to teach you. Now what we're going to need is a rig, so we're just going to go to build rig, and depending on the type of game you're making, so if you're making an R15 game, you're going to choose R15, it's going to use the default R, uh, the old R6, you can use R6, same process, but I'm going to be using R15, I'm just going to get the block rig here, and I want to make a crouching, a crouching animation, so what we're going to do is we're going to Go into the animation editor here. If it's not active, you can click that. I'm gonna select the rig you want to animate, which is this one, and we're just ooh, and we're just gonna name it crawl. Or actually, crouch first. And we're just gonna make a simple animation. So we're just gonna grab the leg, put it up, put this down, 
Let me put this back a bit. Grab our lower torso and drag it to the floor. And that's it for crouching. I can clean this up a bit more. The angles I like like that. Let's grab the entire body. Animations in R6 is easier since you have less body parts. And that's all I crouch. Now I didn't touch the arms because if you have a gun, it probably has arm animations. We don't want to bother with those. We just want to use the legs. So we're going to set the animation priority to, let's say, movement. And we're going to make sure it's toggle looping. I'm going to click export and you're going to type whatever here and press submit. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to overwrite my old crouch since I did that in the recording before this, before I failed miserably. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to make crawl. So we're just going to click create new. So go to this crouch, three buttons, create new. I'm going to name it crawl. And then I'm going to press create. And we're literally going to just grab this man. Let's activate this face plant into the floor. It's not. And rotate his head up so we can see what's going on. Put his arms over here. Ooh. And this time I'm going to bug with his legs since this is one of the things that ruined my recording is his legs will start flying around. So let's just do this. Let's get his upper torso, torso up a bit. This is rotated by a small bit. I can go like that. And we'll just grab his arms. Rotate it in a bit, and that's our crawl done. Not too bad. I'm gonna make sure it's looped. Let's set the priority to movement, and I'm gonna export it as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna overwrite my old one. It's good. Now I will put these IDs in the description if you would like to use my animations instead of making your own. Go ahead. I don't have any problem. So now we're done, you can delete this dummy, we don't need him anymore. We're going to go to our local script and we're going to add two animations. One's going to be named Crouch, oh not Crouch, Crouch, and Crawl. And we're just going to put, this is actually, let's get, oops. Uh, actually. So we're back in the studio, so we got our IDs here. This is the crawl. Um, correct. That is the crouch, I'm pretty sure, actually. This is the crouch. And this is the crawl, this one right here. Might mix that up, but no worries. And we're going to go here. Now we're going to make some new variables. So we're going to call this local uh, crouch, local crawl, local is crouched, crouched, local is crawl, length. And don't worry about that for now, we just need these. And we're going to start off with crouch. Crouch is going to equal to character dot humanoid load animation. I'm going to load script dot wait for child and we're gonna wait for the crouch same thing for the second one for crawl and just name that to crawl now for is crouched and is crawling we just gotta set it to default false since we're not spawning in a player as crouch or crawling and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go here I'll put else if, since we don't want a player to be able to crouch and crawl at the same time, probably causing problems. And we're just going to rewrite the same thing here, except we're going to put C. That's the wrong one. 
I'm gonna copy this, paste it, and put it X. Now we don't need this in input ended since we are doing a toggle, not a holding. What we're gonna do is we're gonna check if if we're crowd if C is crouched. So if is we're already crouched, then I want we want to stop crouching. So we're gonna do crouch. We're gonna stop the animation, and then we're gonna do is crouched is false since we are no longer crouching we're just gonna put else so if we're not crouching we're just gonna do crouch play is crouched equals true and we're gonna go into just gonna copy this put it in here and we're gonna say is crawling change crouch to crawl is crawling crawl is crawling now since we've done this we're gonna add one more thing so we're gonna copy this right here crawl stop we're gonna go on top of crawl crouch play put that there it's because we want to make sure we're not crawling when we want to crouch we're gonna get our stop here put that there so we're gonna go into our sprint now and we're gonna add more conditional statements so we're gonna say here let's make it clean if not is crouched and and not is crawling so we want to make sure we're not crouched or crawling then we can change our player speed and we're gonna go one more time into our crouch here we're going to slow our player speed down since we don't want that. We don't want to be crouching or crawling at full speed. That would probably be horrifying. So we're just gonna. What is going on here? We're gonna change this to probably 13. And for crawling here. I'm probably just going to set it to like 10. Last thing before we need to be finished here is we need to make sure that when we're jumping, so I'm going to say this here, we're not going to put in the else if, we're going to say if input dot key code equals enum dot key code dot space, so we're going to press our space bar, then we're going to make sure that we are not crouching crawling so we're going to say is crouched and is crawling equals false and false so we set both of them to false crouch stop and crawl stop player dot walks let's do all that it's character dot humanoid dot walk speed equals 16 so we set it to default That's wrong. And let's actually add a conditional statement here. If is crouched or is crawling, then we'll put the end here. Tab that in. There we go. And that should be everything. Format the code real quickly. Make it look clean. And we should be done. Uh oh. Forgotten and end somewhere. Then I deleted something here. Character. Ooh, what is this? That should be it. No errors. Now if we go into our game. And 
if we crawl, crouch, we can see that we can't sprint to increase our speed. We're walking, we we'll walk a bit slower, and when we crawl, and we get really slow. Well, yeah, that's it. That's essentially this entire tutorial. I hope this helps, and if you have any questions or problems, leave them in the comments. I will try to help them to my best of my abilities. And if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please leave a like. It helps the algorithm and more people to find it. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.